This is a Podfire production. It's the highest of standards on the peak we have landed. It's not silver, it's not gold. You want the best, take advantage. Go platinum. And we're live. Hello, 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 everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the Platinum Standard Grading Podcast. Uh, I'm Brett McCallum. My general manager is my new opening batsman partner, and that is Roberto Verhovo. That's r- roughly about it, yeah. That's close. Yeah, it? It was close. Actually, I reckon that's the closest I've ever said your surname nearly correctly. Really? I've never actually noticed that you didn't. No, I always say Verhov or something stupid yeah, like that. But, I call uh, him Throbbit. 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 Mm. Wow. Yeah. There we go. And Chris is back. <laughs> wow! He is Welcome the back, one, Christopher. One time only. Thanks for having me. That back, is terrible. Back by no demand. And uh, <laughs> we got our chief cardiologist, uh, Pugs. Yes, sir. You were mentioned last night, actually, Pugs. We. Uh, oh, hang on. I'm was just on? getting ready. No, no, no. <laughs> no this is a legit no, story. It's a legit story. Yeah. Chris, um, Christopher and myself were in Melbourne the last uh, for the last week, and we'll talk a bit about that today. Uh, but at the same time, we were talking to the double coverage boys. Big shout out to. Uh, that wasn't funny, but that's okay. It was supposed to be a name drop. That's a name oh. drop yeah. oh, that's so, oh, there you go. Oh, to Dommer and Sauce, get, man. Get ready. We, uh, the there'll, be a, there'll be a few coming in a sec. Oh, but yeah, we'll talk about how we met in the first place. And uh, Rebecca, who runs one of our other businesses here, um, she was saying, well, how do you know these guys? And we said, uh, they actually uh, did a... A review, of, a the review of the website when we first, that's how we first reached out. Yeah. And they were coming up and they were picking, they go, oh, is that cardiologist or cardiologist and yeah. stuff like that. And I we said, no, that. they're our cardiologists. And that's how we actually um, reached out to these boys and got on their potty and then they fell in love with us. And and we fell in love with them. Oh, mate, great, g- absolutely great human beings. They're yeah. wonderful. We've got a few people that have uh, joined us already today. We Oh, wow, look at this long line. Hi, Mum. Uh, <laughs> Butters um, Collection, big shout out to you, Butters. Good to meet you in person at Hobby Hangout in the weekend, mate. Uh, great, uh, great man in the in the hobby. Uh, Mance Pants, I like how he did that. That's clever how he's done that. Uh, Cohen Kr, Ding Dong Two Double O Seven, get back in the office. You needed uh, Gold Gourmet Foods, Thirty Five Gangster, Ben Allen, Mint Collectibles, uh, local shout card shop. Back. That's him there. That's me. I just logged in. Uh, Mint, <laughs> so, Mint so just asked, are you sick of planes yet, Christopher? Oh, 100%. Uh, I was trying to work How many out percent? A hundred percent. I've um, stop that, don't we? committed to saying that as many times as I could in the podcast. That's oh, right. Uh, I'm trying to quit saying exactly. that. Uh, I, I was trying to work out last night how many times I've, been, I've slept in my own bed in the last two months. And I think it's like five. Five? That's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. And that is. wasn't because of other reasons. That was just because you were away. Quizza oh, yeah. 78, Goldie yeah, GC, yeah. Jeremy <laughs> Fisher, Mojo Chasers, and Phil K88 have joined us. Thanks, everyone. <coughs> Welcome to Thursday afternoon. Yes, we are live on Instagram. <laughs> so this is our hobby hangout edition of the podcast. Woo! It is, it is. Well, so, I've, I still haven't done my um, yeah, national... When, well, if you had to come back, you would have been on. Exactly. You could have been talking well, about yeah. it. So I can't talk about my baseball? We can't. We can't. Have you we can't how, many, how many percent? Have you seen 87. <laughs> have you seen my baseball? <laughs> Come on, let's get over now. That's awesome. Let's get Use over now. Hey, I'll tell you what, we've got three minutes. Go. Explain so, to us, before you get to that, explain to us the whole of the national. Oh, no, I can't. It's what you did in three one. minutes. Just, let's no, go. it's just the, the baseball. You so don't we, care about the national. Nah. So we probably spent thousands <laughs> and thousands of dollars. Well, money well spent. Bought Woo! boxes and boxes of stuff, but we this did. is my favourite purchase. Oh, yeah, that's nice. It is a baseball signed by Joey Chestnut, who is the 14-time hot dog eating champion of the world, I guess. <laughs> um, of the world? They always do it at Coney Island uh, on 4th of July. And he has inscribed it, number one, eat. There we go. Well, and 35 you, bucks. You had a crack at trying to be $35. Yeah, and I, we spent thousands of bucks on cards. It, it's interesting that it's That's hot dogs awesome. because we could have actually given that a nudge on Saturday night. Oh, yeah, we oh, could have. Indeed, Those indeed. Oh, dear. Well, that's a good uh, – you want anything else, Chris, or are you good? No, nah, that's it. You feel good? You comfy? Yeah, yeah I'm happy with that. Oh, that's, 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 <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Not, <laughs> can, nice can, shirt, by the way. Can I just so point out the shirt, lads? Yeah. Like uh, – That was an accident. Today, yeah, <laughs> I, I was supposed to wear mine. I think so. That wasn't yeah, that yeah. I need to get one. But anyway, yeah. So we got the uh, we're we're sporting the tropics outfits today. Uh, obviously, as part of Platinum Standard Grading being the major sponsor of the Gold Coast Tropics bid to uh, get into the NBL. GCTropics.com. 
Make sure you get on there and register your interest. Up. Let's do it. That'd be awesome. Also, good luck to the um, Gold Coast Rollers this hey. weekend. Oh, how good's that? They've made the, the um, North Final. M- NBL One North Finals. They hosting it, so they the top seed. So they play it's Friday, a Saturday best of three. Yeah, so Friday, Saturday. If it goes to a decider, that'll be on a Sunday night. Ooh. And the Saturday night after the game is back at nineteen at the Star. Everyone's welcome if they win. If they win. If not, when we'll they win. But if we'll, not, we'll, go home. We'll, we'll It'll be happen there. Sunday. And we'll come back Sunday. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll be there every night. Um, front row. Representatives, representatives of us will be on different times. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care about anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sounds, be there, I'll be there like every night. Sounds like he's not planning on sleeping in his own bed again. Yeah. Yes, that could be. He should just stay at the yeah, stadium. Stay at the star. Yep, that's stay right. at the star. Well, gentlemen, the, uh, the tropics look wonderful on you, and we're looking forward to changing that Flint name at the top to the Gold Coast. So that uh, bit of West Aussie cards has joined us. Uh, Dom, Dom McFarlane, Sweet Lou, Icons of Sports, Sweet and Lou. Liam Schiffer. Is it the Shifty. real Sweet Lou? I don't know. Who's the real Sweet Lou? Could we Lou? ask if uh, it's a real Sweet Lou? From the Clippers? No. Oh, maybe it's not. probably not going to be the mm. Sweet Lou. You never Lou know, though. Clippers. We could find that out. He's the guy that got in trouble for um, leaving the bubble when it was in uh, Disneyland. Oh. I don't yeah. think it's that sweet. He went to, probably a, different went to one. a strip club and because f- they do really good uh, chicken wings. Yeah. Okay. No. Probably a different sweet blue. <laughs> <laughs> um, it would be cool if it was. <laughs> it would. It'd be fantastic if it was, but it's not. Yeah. Well, um, what a week we've had, Rob. We've had a huge week, haven't we? Like it's the Melbourne Hobby Hangout week. The Melbourne Sorry. Hobby Hangout was, was absolutely fantastic, amazing. But we didn't start there for the team. We didn't. No, we didn't. We started on the Saturday night. We did, yes, of course. You took me, my first time ever to go to an AFL game at the MCG. Yeah. Really shit game of football. But other than that, it was, it was an amazing excellent. opportunity. Shout out to we, the double coverage boys. We were a little bit Essendon. late because so we've been meeting with Chris Anstey beforehand. Um, Name drop. Oh, yep, blue one. Yep. The wrong one. Is it blue one? No, that'll do. That'll yeah. do. But we met with Chris beforehand and we had a good uh, catch up with him. And then obviously we made our way over to the MCG and Chris made me walk up. The stairs and made me walk a very long way. Well, there's actually only one way to get up the stairs, and that's to walk. Was like a, it was like a, it was like a, it was a um. Not even oh, did stairs. you do the ramp? We did the ramps. Yeah, we did the ramps. Oh. Yeah, we did the stairs. Sammy and I. So we did the old cut through the, you know, yeah. cut through. It really makes no difference. It's still the same. Yeah, you, know yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you still got to go up like the same. Amount. It was a bloody long way. Yeah, that's all does. I can yeah. say. It was a bloody long way. But yep. anyway, it was um. We got there. Got to sit in this. Actually, on the way, fears were there. Then we saw the sign because you texted to us and yes. we saw the sign. And <laughs> this is all comes sign. back to your baseball, the Joey Chestnut. Yeah, man. Two dollar hot dogs at the, at the G. That's we're insane. talking. We're like normally you go to a sporting event like that and it's priced three times higher than it should oh, be. Oh, yeah, like twelve dollar hot dogs. Yeah, two bucks. Let's be real. And were they, they good? Have, they were pretty crap. Are you for two dollars? <laughs> they were amazing. <laughs> they were fantastic. <laughs> They were fantastic. They were the best two dollar hot dogs I had on Saturday. There's no doubt yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Did you see that bloke on uh, on the line that was making one of the hot dogs into a straw and drinking his beer out of it? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, in America, yeah. there's, there's awesome. some sick fuckers in this world. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, that was so that was Saturday night, and then we had to go to bed early because we were getting up early. No, we went to the casino. It was yeah. too many people? So then we went back and had an early sleep, and then. Um, Says we started a live video. Hey, cool. There you go. Good on us. Um, and then the next morning, we're up nice and early. Rob was up at Sparrows to uh, make sure the weather was right, make sure everything was prepared. I was there. And uh, got there before the place had even opened. That's true, actually. <laughs> yeah. And before the gates had opened, before anything That's had true. opened, Rob was sort of looking like a homeless man sitting out the front on his own when everyone arrived. With a um, platinum hat. But um, one thing, we might have to get this up on the socials because the platinum hat, lo- similar to the one you're wearing, actually exactly the same as the one you're wearing, mm-hmm. Did a tour of the oh, MCG beforehand. Oh, there we go. So we had the, the hat getting photos at different uh, oh, wow. MCG landmarks. Oh, so we'll definitely awesome. have to put that up. That'd yeah, be awesome. Because so that's one thing that everyone asks us about at Hobby Hangout as well. I know we're jumping forward a little bit, but everyone wants the merch. Yeah, I know. And I've been yeah, promising it for a long time. So we're going to call it out today. We will have some merch in within the next six weeks. Well, that's interesting because that's... We might do pre-orders. That's my list of things to, I've got to talk to you about, seeing as that's the first time I'm seeing Approved. It. Done. Brisbane Hobby uh, Hangout. Is out. that everything approved that I want to talk to you no, about? No, no, just the hat. Okay, shit. Um, <laughs> do I get a hat? No. Well, we've got a bounty on your hat because uh, Chris left his yeah, hat in yeah, England right. on a train. So if anyone in England finds a white one... <laughs> was it a white one? <laughs> a white one yeah. If we get the white one it's back, we'll give you 10 free grades. 
Ten. Ten. Mate, what chance are we? Express. Like, seriously. <laughs> yeah. we, can, we can say a thousand and we're not doing we that. We won't do that because no. then it'll come back. Or it'll someone will fraudulently make one and pretend. Or Pugs or will I'll just take the one off his head. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll just send one in. So, um, Okay, so let's talk about the Hobby Hangout. So we arrived early, we set up, and uh, it was like that similar buzz to last time. What do you think? But a little bit different because they opened up another Because it was section. spread out. It was a lot. It was yeah. sort of a bit pushed over to the side. And uh, I actually quite liked it because we had a bit more space, it yeah. felt like. Obviously, they put us in the wrong spot. So then we moved. And <laughs> we then did. We created a little bit of turmoil around that. But that's okay. It was only a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. I think we ended up in a really good spot. Yeah, I liked it. Uh, where the more more people could see us. And that's what it was all about. And we put um, Pugs and myself got up on stage to put the flags in. We pulled one up and thought, fuck, that'd look really good if we had two. Do the other one. Yeah. So then uh, that works. And then you guys did a bit of MacGyvering on the other flag. It was duct tape. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know who brought duct tape, but it was uh, well used. I think it was my daughter. Actually. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. And she was the one cutting around everywhere. <laughs> which helping was us that out. Abigail? No, it was Tabitha. Tabitha. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, so then we then got ready. We're all ready. We're prepped. We were up. prepped nice and early too this time. Well, which is really good because then we got to walk around. Hundred yeah. percent. And we got that. <laughs> I, I, oh. I filmed heaps of video in that time too. Yeah. And then we went outside to start handing out some brochures. So I went out there with Tabitha, and uh, holy shit, the line, just, the line there was just went everywhere. on and on and on. We finally got a decent day weather-wise. There was no. We did. Well, there was the no sun rain. was out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was really nice. <laughs> the last really two were shocking. Flood. Uh, West Aussie Card said the Hobby Hangout was sick, but it needed better lighting in some areas. Yeah, that, that was a one thing I was going to say. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> there was uh, the blank slates and the... They were in the dark. They were holding yeah, yeah. their phone. Yeah. Yeah. The same yeah. where Tolga was as well. And the Hobby Oz, they, you couldn't see anything. Yeah. I, I was mm. with my phone when I was looking at everything there. So they're yeah. going to fix that for next year, they've said. Yeah. They'll pay the bill. So that's always <laughs> Is handy. that what it was? Yeah, that's what <laughs> it was. They didn't actually order that bit of light. Maybe we should just get a Linter Energy or... They sponsor the cricket, so maybe they could sponsor the Hobby Hangout. They, yeah, that's a good Give idea. Give us a couple of lights. Gee, you're smart. Mate, all over it. Uh, okay, so we had a look around early, and it was great. We did some deals. Um, we did, I yes. did an early deal. I, I did too. You did, you did a great yeah. early deal. I know. I don't know. Thanks to those guys. I can't remember who oh, they right were. Right next to the they're Lucky Cat Our neighbours, yeah. Mm. They're our neighbours. And um, they had some slabs. I got some Ripper slabs. I bought a slab for $7, Pugs. That's awesome. A PSA slab. You That's bought some... Um, less than grading yeah, good. This, I, I bought this one for 10 bucks, and it's a bowl bowl. You is it? It's a ten, isn't it? That's no, a nine. Oh, it's still it's over twenty nine. Panini prism. Should have paid nine dollars for the mm. PSA nine. How yeah, good is that? Love a good bowl bowl. Everyone does. So um, I reckon I could sell that for fifty if anyone wants it. Hit me up. <laughs> but you well, just told them how you much you paid for sell it. Sell that for ten bucks. Why? What's wrong with it? It's crap. Bowl bowl. Why are you so grumpy? I know. I'm not. He, he is. is he is. He is. Ben Armani and Shooter Hero just joined us. G'day, guys and girls. So we saw, we saw a lot of different people, and I think for me the um, the great thing was, um, literally, I was there before eight o'clock, um, and then at what time did we have to leave? Pugs. It was like four thirty-five. Yeah. We were. Yeah, we at had the to door. leave. When did it close? Four thirty. We wanted to be gone by then. Yeah, so because we, we had to get, get to the air, airport. So Chris and I were left to pack everything up on our own and all that stuff. Yeah, Actually, no, we were. It was, was already done. done. <laughs> it was done. But one more thing, I did get which upset a few people. So I do apologise to anyone that's oh listening. Dear. That I can't believe you're going to admit to this. Um, I hit up Tyson pretty early. Don't be, don't be sorry about that. And bought the rest of the cards that he had. Uh, so not all of them. Yeah, well, he got one yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. So we ended up with the rainbow of the answer, <laughs> uh, Alan so Iverson. Good. This this has the feeling of a um, Big Boss collectibles auction. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. Um, can I bring that up now? Just like because oh, it's it why hurt. Not? It why hurt. Not? So I, I apologise. One of our great not submission partners, Big Boss Collectibles, Marco. Huge shout out to you. Um, he runs an auction on a Wednesday night on his page. So these two muppets, they're at. Um, I won't say where we're they were. We're talking about that later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they were out and had left. I was at home, so I went on the auctions. Next minute, these two Muppets are out bidding me. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And I'm going, what the hell's going on here? Well, I the accidentally slipped. And you, you bid more than you. I bet $22 you. on a frigging card that was probably worth 10 But anyway, that's Well, you all did right. the same thing here. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Brett then goes at some stage. Brett goes, oh, "I've got to go now." Yeah, and there was cheers because they he were. bought every car. They were abusing it, me. I had he eight got in a row. Yeah, he was only there for eight auctions, <laughs> and then <laughs> and he, he left. Got all of them. And then he left, and the next card was one he would have wanted. What was it? Did it was. You get it? Yeah, I bought it for you. Oh, thanks. So, mate. what was it? Yeah, Cliff Lyons. Oh, Cliffy. Oh. Yeah, gold. 
Um, no, an acetate card. Oh, Ripping oh. looking card will look oh, amazing in a slab. I'll just try and think of a good grading company that might be able to slab it up for you. Oh, I know one. Um, yeah, and but you know no. what? You can have one for free. What? If it's a card for me. I don't. I, I don't want a cliff line. <laughs> he had card. some good cards. He, he did. did. Uh, I love yeah. the variety. Yeah, it's that's, actually really that's clever the way night. he does it. Sunday nights usually just NBA. Okay. And then Wednesday nights the. So the shout game. out to Marco. Let's give a bit of a shout out to our guys down in Melbourne at the Hobby Hangout as well. Our submission partners that we saw there. Uh, uh, double coverage. As double coverage was already. there. Yeah. yeah. Dom and the guys at Gimco. Yeah, they signed the the paperwork. Yep. Uh, and Tolga can play. Tolga can play. Yep. So I know that. Well, Gimco signed up on the day, didn't they? They finally signed their paperwork yep. and they were all, uh, uh, they got that across the line, which I think we got some footage of that, did we? We certainly did. So well, that'll go yeah. up on the socials in the next couple of days. Yep, so we got that. And um, so they were the three submission partners that we, we caught up with there. Um, and as I was saying before, for myself, you know, I just got to speak to so many people. It was great. And I think because we set up so early, it was actually good because we could have that little walk around yep. and chat to people and stuff. We've got a question from the crowd. This one's good for you, Rob, because I know Cohen. your opinion. What's your opinion on Panini points? Then having to pay for shipping once you redeem them. I've, I've seen you talk about this before. Yeah, I think it's... Um, Shit Pan- out. Panini, Panini are losing the Ludicrous. license. We're not going to have to talk about them in a positive way just to make them feel better, are we? Nah. No, it's shit out. It is, definitely. Why uh, bother? I, I can't believe that, especially like I've got uh, four Joe Ingalls autos that have been in there for five Jingles. years. And they offered me some ridiculous piss-hand amount of points. And I went and I could buy like a base card and it was 12 bucks to ship a base yeah, card. I had the same thing. It was like, thanks, dude. Yeah. So, I Cohen, I think we agree with you where you were going with that, mate, is that it is shit house and the fact that Panini give you these points. What if they, they could be able to charge you points to ship it? Why wouldn't they do that? They should bloody well ship it. They didn't put the cards in and they failed to contractually... Something about, oh, I'm really fired up now. I smell a like class yeah. action lawsuit yeah. or something. Yeah. Are, we, are we having a class action? It's kind of like PSA oh, doing up I'd rather get out of the pub and have a beer. Rob, you're oh, such a good idea. You had the chance at home. What time is it? Who cares? <laughs> five o'clock uh, it's five o'clock somewhere. Exactly. So at the, st- at the start, here we go. We got 400 points and shipping's $46 Damn. for two RPAs. That's fucking atrocious. They going. must be run by PSA, you know, with the upcharges. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. But they, that, that's no good, mate. But the problem is you can't do anything about it. That's the issue we've got with all this stuff, that's isn't right. it? While we're on redemptions, yeah. because I'm, this is one of my bugbears at the moment with the Australian companies, yeah. is that you've got to physically get your card, you've got to post it to them, and then they post you the card back. The redemption card, the as redemption. opposed to scratching. and Just let us put these online and <laughs> have yeah. them sent to us. Well, I think some of those companies aren't that uh, technological sound. And they send oh. the card back, don't they? Yeah, they, 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 yeah, they still do that. Yeah. So they punch a hole yep. in it. Yep. So well, I select, did that in the 80s. Select have got the system, like, um, because they're scratch and win, they're, their instant win's all done as online redemption. So they've certainly got the um, the ability to do it. And surely it would be easier for them, too, to be, you know, you just have so. a. Oh, you'd expect so. Yeah, you know, the customer service side of it would be so much easier <laughs> to um, maintain just through an email rather than a. Here's an envelope. Why don't you send them an email on yeah, behalf strongly, of Platinum Standard Grading email. and say we have an idea for you, champion? I um <laughs> I I've already had champion. one email. I've already yeah. had an email this week go off to the AFL. Free Cam Rayner. Can't believe it. Got a week. Deserve three. Yeah, I would have put him off for three. <laughs> Getting no support here, champ. Bud, champ, champ. champ. I just got champ. Everyone's a champ. Um, what else did you pick Sid's up? Cards and Collectibles joined us, which is great. G'day, Sid's Cards and Collectibles. Um, I got two more that I got. One I've been after for ages. Yeah. One that? is uh, uh, Sam Kerr. Oh. oh, that's cool. Which you picked earlier that I would get. Yeah. And I ended up trading a couple of slabs for uh, for Sam and some cash. He gave me some cash. I like when I get cash in a deal. So a nice little Sam Kerr. And I got a Graham Lasso England card as part of the deal, which I was pretty happy about. Nice little It's auto. a sticker auto, but it's a really clean, yeah, nice looks like auto. Pretty, looks like a nice auto. Yeah. So I reckon that if I was an autograph grader, I'd give that a 10. But, but, you're not, not. but you're not. That's <laughs> Sam Kerr. I just got a shipment back from Ship My Cards, and I've got, a, I think, about 15 of the Australian 2006 World Cup stickers. Sam, Sam Kerr's? No, because it, the men's team. Oh, okay. 2006 World Cup. So um, they're really cool, and they're what? highly collectible now. So I was there. 2006? I did 2006 World Cup in Germany. I was Don't name drop. Name. <laughs> uh, yeah, I went there, and I was there for when the ridiculous uh, tackle... Happened oh. from Lucas Neal oh. with the Italians. With Italy, yeah. yeah the um, flop, that the uh, lost flop. the World Cup. And the um, also <laughs> saw the Brazil game, Australia versus Brazil. 
That's amazing. In Germany, it was awesome. That I was amazing. on a work trip, obviously. Yeah, work trip. <laughs> yeah, that's, here we that's, go again. That's been the best um, word. It's always it. a work trip. <laughs> Chris, what did you pick up, mate? Uh, I did a lot of my shopping early too, uh, like you mentioned before. So I just like random stuff. Everyone that I speak to knows that. I bought a Japanese Pikachu Joker oh, card. I want this. So is it an actual trading card or is no, it a it's playing a, a card? Playing card. I think it's from the the silver. It's a, from a poker set. That's really cool. I yeah, like that. Awesome. Um, and what's that graded? Eight point five at BGS. Nice. I saw it initially, and then I was like, uh, I don't need it." And, then, <laughs> and, and that then, is the first uh, time I've ever heard you say that. And then it played on my mind of like, "Nah, I'm going back." <laughs> yeah, so good work. As soon as the doors open, I ran back and got it because I didn't <laughs> want anyone else to get Can it. Can I just interrupt? We've got a question here from Thirty Five Gangster. Mm. Do you boys grade the autos? Or do you authenticate autos? Mate, the only authentication we do on autos is if we physically see them get done. So we've got some stuff which Rob will announce a little bit later uh, with Tyson Beck. And uh, we actually were there when he signed it. So therefore, I'm more than happy for us to PSG authenticate the auto because we were there. We got a photo, etc. Um, but other than that, we don't authenticate autos. We use JSA and we will, as Rob said last, I think it was last week, yeah. we will help you through that process. And uh, you'll do it directly with Bluey down at JSA. And uh, when the card comes back, we'll actually put JSA authenticated on that with the authentication number. Yep. And we also don't grade autos either. No, um, not at all. No. But the, and just on that, does the grade, does the auto affect the grade? No, not at all. Okay, cool. Uh, cool. Keep else? going, Chris. So then I bought BJ a present. I'm such a nice guy, I know. I bought him an acetate <laughs> Dennis Rodman one of one. Uh, Got that from probably. Dave. Yes, from Dave. I actually bought two cards from Dave. The other one's a ripper. Uh, so this oh, I love this so one. So when I you say you bought BJ a present, are you oh going to yeah, give it to him? Oh, yeah, well, there you go. I Thanks. had to put it in my man bag because you didn't want to carry it. That's right, in your pouch. Uh, I bought a sick. quad yeah. auto of the Danaher brothers. That's awesome, that uh, card. Yeah, that is So great. I'm an Essendon fan, so it just made sense. And some, I saw it. Yeah, and there's one of them was really cool as well. Um, yeah, and then I think BJ. Yeah, I did. BJ got me these. Um, I'm massively into Marvel at the moment. Those are awesome. Um, I was looking at them earlier. And actually, I bought a card from, from Marco. Marco. Yeah. And it's I think it's this card, but it's the 3D version. Ah, nice. Oh, nice. So it's a nice little set. Um, but yeah, just from uh, SGC. Really, they look really cool because they're black, and then obviously the cards are shiny. <coughs> I like you like the shiny. And I like shiny. So that's about it, really. Nice. Pugs, what did you pick up? Just a uh, mm. nice little Tyson Beck. Tyson Beck, Alan Iverson, um, four-time scoring champ. That thing's amazing. That's nice, isn't it? I like yeah. that one. That's one of his autos. Yeah. Very, very nice. Uh, i got a yeah, number to 10, Lux, Kevin Durant auto. It's pretty sweet. So did you buy these or did you trade these? I bought that. To 10? Nice. Dep- yeah. Depends who asks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trade tra- everything. Trades. Right? I always trade. <laughs> <laughs> And I got a cherry pack thing, and I got a boo. MJ <laughs> Living Legends. Yeah, I know. I want to go Well, it's boo because he got that. I, I, we didn't. I got him just before he did. Oh yeah. no! I he offered him. I offered him. He, 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 he did. He offered. He offered. It could have been, but it's not. So we'll just move on. It's really oh, nice, nice though. It's really good condition too. And what about you, big fella? Did you? Um, I didn't really have much of a. Ch- I literally was just talking just to people. Yeah, yeah but I saw you buying like figurines. Figurines. A little Lego thing. Oh no, that was me. Oh, you know, we bought those. We bought those. <laughs> we we did. Yeah. And we um, got those um, nice little for local card shop, your new display cabinet. Yeah, we got those as well. They were pretty sick. Like, But to be honest, like when they're, they're great, but they're not that much fun. Yeah, I saw you the buy fun, a box of baseball. Did somebody steal my baseball? The fun that I had was with Moose Bill. With who? Moose yeah, Bill. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's Moose Bill? Moose Bill, Moose Bill cards. He, he is specialises in non-sport cards. And so I went a little bit overboard. <laughs> and uh, bought a lot of old wax off him. So Mork oh, and Mindy, Gremlins, right. um, oh, the Ghostbusters. So cool. um, and I obviously bought far too many because I went back later on, looked at another car, I uh, looked at another pack, and he goes, "Oh, you can just have it." So I thought, "Yeah, he's, <laughs> you know you've yeah, way yeah, exactly." So <laughs> he's got you hook line he, and sinker. That yeah, he does. Uh, uh, he's where I bought my Kobe auto from. Oh wow! Yeah, how many years ago? Just uh, in Brisbane. Oh, nice. Kobe Smolders. Yeah. Oh, from Smolders. How, yeah, yeah, from yeah, How yeah, I Met okay. Your Mother. I like but, that. But, um, yeah. It's still it's a Kobe. It's still a Kobe. Sid's Cards and Collectibles, you should have taken my Spider-Man Marvel Metal Cards. Oh. They were nice, though. I like them. Yeah, they were. Yeah, but sorry, Sid's. Next time. Next time. There's always another hangout. Come to Brisbane. There's, Come to Brisbane. There's always another card. Well, or yeah. maybe, what's first? 
Brisbane or the other one we're going to do? Uh, no, the Brisbane's one we committed first. to on the day? Brisbane's first. We've committed to a lot of things in this last week. Just on the hobby hangout, <laughs> can I just say something about that? Because yeah. we actually had, and I promised this person a shout out, um, we had our youngest ever um, submitter. submitter. Oh, wow. So Piper is four months old. <laughs> and oh, good job, Piper. We did a... Um, what well up, Piper? Did you make a pay... Whoop, whoop. Postage. postage, yes, I made paper by <laughs> postage. Hey, come on, it was a free card. We're mm. not, we're not a charity. It's, mm. uh, we don't have. What the... card did Piper want to get graded? <laughs> Piper wanted to get a um, Pokemon card um, graded, so Piper did. Get, she will get a Pokemon Pokemon card, but no, it was it was really cool because. Can um, we get photos of Piper submitting? <laughs> no. I'm not that smart. I don't think of those things on the time, but um, mm. why? Why do I? Why? why that's just popping into my head. That maybe Piper's mum or dad wanted two cards done, and Rob was feeling really generous. So then Rob goes, oh, "I'll get Piper to do it." Well, that's yeah, could not be confirm, <laughs> not going to confirm or deny. No confirm or deny. It could no be. I, I did say Sarah is Piper's mum. I did say to Sarah, um, "Are you going to submit a card for?" And I, I, she was Piper was wearing pink, but you never know these days. I said that is a little girl, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> um, I said, well, you're not supposed to do that, man. Well, you're just supposed to say, oh, "I love you, your baby. Yeah. Well, was, is your daughter going to submit a card? Because <laughs> they had three cards and they couldn't work out. <laughs> His which name's two. Brian, but <laughs> 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 but yeah, they had three cards and they couldn't work it out. And I said, "Look, Piper's here." You know. <laughs> so and the the answer is yes, then. Yeah, of course yeah, we did. Well done, of well course. Done. And Piper, um, Piper will appreciate that card for many, many years to come. But four months old. Um, that's the new record. So we've got another Blakey's joined. G'day, Blakey. West Aussie cards. Full of questions now. Loving this. Yeah, what's up, Jay? NBA 2021-22 draft class prospects, favourite slash best buys. I Chris, saw an amazing chat. Uh, yeah. I saw an amazing yeah. chat. I don't know. It's in our pile of cards to um, grade. Okay. Absolutely ridiculous. Where was it? Card. Is it Leaf? I No, it was Tops. Oh, is that that uh, high school? No, I don't know what it was. I'll I'll dig it out mm. when it's getting graded, and um, we'll. Because everyone loved the dice and Daniels I had there to show. On. I saw oh, another one. Saying. I saw someone else have one was of those with the dollars. Yeah, yeah, the, the, money the shiny whatever. money yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I realised that obviously my addiction of buying cards online um, <laughs> <laughs> is getting better. No, it's not. But the thing there is I accidentally bought two of the same cards, so I took it down to show people. That's my favourite thing you do because when you do that, you come and give me a card and say, oh, I bought bloody two of these, and you just give me one, which is awesome, which I appreciate. Would you like a Dyson Daniels? Pat McAfee was the last one. There you was, go. That was Would a you like one. a Dyson? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like 20 it's all yours. Those, <laughs> yeah. what, was yours? Uh, what was the coolest card you reckon you saw there? Oh, look. Oh, the <laughs> Robert Horry 101. No. Nah. Nah. No, nah, it's the same <laughs> table though, MSF. <laughs> Mate, did you see some of The man's the 18. That, that Kim Kardashian insane, auto. Yeah. No, nah, I don't care about that. You that was the, only a 9.5 because it was swatch. Yeah, the auto. Mm. Um, no, there was that. Jokes um, in my head. Don't say Yeah, no, me too. There were, <laughs> <laughs> no, there was that. He must have had 11 logo men. Yeah, there was probably about that. Yeah, like he had them in nice little flawless But there was card. also that 16 auto booklet with MJ, yeah. Dr. J, mm. Larry Bird, everything. Was was I like amazing. that um, the Phil Knight yeah, that that was auto nice that too. Tolga had. I've actually been deep diving a couple of Phil Knight autos on uh, eBay. They do like business cards, like yep. his business card that uh, are autoed and authenticated. There was a couple of really good ones there at the show of those Phil Knight ones, but you ended up buying <laughs> it online, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I went, it went a little bit, little bit different. So I think the one that Tolga had was the, it looked like a flea. Yeah. Uh, like the same border. And I just liked the business card yeah. better. Did you see the Al Pacino that he had as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was, was cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. Question for Chris. For no, um, stop. <laughs> People can read that. They don't. Need, we're Blakey. not going to. Uh, we're not going to go down that track. <laughs> it's not that Blakey. It's a different Blakey. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. But Blakey, he doesn't. The Arundel Thai massage oh is pretty God, good. It's go. great. They yeah. walk on your back. Yeah, and it's good. They get into the deep muscles. Yeah. Oh, she digs you with her elbows and then step, steps on your back. There you go. Nice. Outstanding. Hey, Matt's on. <laughs> Matt's online. Hey, Matt. Shout out to Matt because Matt is. He's a um, local artist up in Brisbane. Oh, awesome. And someone that G'day, visits, Matt. In, visits in the local car shop. Is this so. comic book Matt? No, that's not comic book Matt. This is this artist is, Matt? This is artist Matt. As in like the Painting, artist? Yeah, like the, the artist. The guy that's going to do the artwork? Yeah, the oh, guy that's going to do artwork for us. Oh, so, nice. um, Shout out to Matt. He's a good bloke. And his mate, Tenny, who works in the local car shop now. Excellent. Excellent. G'day, guys. Um, so, yeah, you, you didn't pick anything up yourself at the thing, but no, you the saw packs. the nice cards. Yeah, we packs. then got the packs. We got yeah. this. 
and then we had a really good opportunity in the afternoon uh, when it quietened down a little bit because I we went over and had a quick chat to Tyson, and uh, Tyson Beck agreed to. Um, because of Rob and the amazing human being that he is, um, wanted to <laughs> give Tyson some Tyson cards to sign so then we can do something special for charity. So, Rob, do you want to tell everyone what that is? Yep. So, here is the first one. Um, I do have a couple of different cards to do. And now I know that Ruby is really special at doing things and she's going to insert into the um, actual podcast she's going to insert a nice little video that we've made up of this card excellent so cool. it is a dustin martin um star powers. is it star is it called star powers i think yeah. they are star yeah. powers, yep. star star powers, powers of super. dustin martin that's super um and that's one of tyson's designs in the 2022 team coach um shout out to those guys as well they do a great product um chris can you read what it says on the label uh 2022 team coach star power super dustin martin autographed by tyson beck psg or Fourth dot hashtag PSG double So that that was us actually seeing him autograph it. So that's the uh yep. the the and what's it graded, bud? It's a nine. Nice. Brought down by edges and surface. Both got eight point five, centering and corners nine five, and you'll notice there is a little holographic sticker on the back. And what's the holographic sticker? Uh, it says PSG authentic auto. Beautiful. Love it. Which, um, shout out to Pugs, who was able to um, make that um, label up for us. So we're going to auction that, that off. Sick. And yeah, I was <laughs> just playing around with it, and I, s- I showed Rob, and he's like, oh, that's yeah, really I know, nice. I, really I like, like that. It. I like that. Um, so we're going to auction that off. Now, that'll come up on our socials over the next week, and we'll probably run it for <laughs> seven days. And every cent from that will be donated to Beyond Blue through yeah. our partnership with Beyond Blue now. Um, well done, Rob. Yeah, so, nice. no, well done to... And a massive nah, shout out to yeah, n- massive shout out to Tyson Beck too. Um, can someone please explain to him one day that he's actually a real big deal and to stop being <laughs> so damn humble? He's <laughs> such a nice bloke. Mate, we um we had an opportunity last night to uh, hang out with Tyson. Actually, the night before, we uh, we went and had some cocktails with Tyson Beck and Chris Anstey. Yep, w- work trip. Oh, yep. Work trip. Work trip. Anyway, <laughs> but the thing was, uh, we both Chris and myself obviously we talk a little bit. We sat back and watched these two communicate with each other. It was so interesting because Chris is really humble. Yep. Tyson's really humble. But when they were together, they were actually having a really good crack. It was uh, <laughs> it was really good to watch. Really? Yeah, it was like opinions on both sides. And like he was telling him about if he gets uh, this this player in, what he can do for him. And he's like, oh, but I want more. He's, and they were actually having like a, it. Was, it was really good That's to watch. Cool. It's always the, interesting to see something like that where you're just sitting back and observing. I was watching him watch them because he's sitting there going, like, well, <laughs> well, that's just his normal face. It was oh, a bit like a tennis match. You know, well, yeah. Yeah. Well, I even enjoyed his answers on the, the panel. Like, he was really. He was the second best speaker on that panel. <laughs> yeah, Alexa yeah, was pretty good. Yeah, Lexi was, was yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, what did you think of the panel? Did you guys get to watch it? Bits I did. I, I think I took video of it because we'd lost uh, Pugs to the um, hot dog aisle. The burger. The burger. burger I waited 40 Sorry. minutes for this burger, but yep. it was amazing. Yep. Was but then I couldn't eat it straight away because I had to come film the panel. Oh, okay. So I had it half an hour later, cold, but it was still amazing. Yeah. <laughs> no, look, I thought the panel was awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it was great to hear Tyson and his story. I loved hearing the story about him going to cash the checks yep. from the Los, Los Angeles Lakers at, the, at his local bank. Yeah. Um, because having been in, in that world before working in banks, that would have just spun me out if someone brought in a check from the Lakers. <laughs> from the Lakers. Yeah, yeah, that would have been awesome. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what I would have done. I would have lost it. There's no doubt about it. Like, it would have all been cashed, and the banks keep these checks. I would have lost it. Yeah, well, they keep them for seven days yeah. until they need to – then they just literally get thrown out. So I've never do- – I never did that, but I should have done that. Should what? I might go back into the bank just for a week, just so I can steal some mate. checks. <laughs> I don't think they do many You're checks anymore. Oh no, they do. There's plenty of checks. Oh, okay. yeah. Check, check, check. Hated them, hated but them. the um, but yeah, that that was pretty cool. The young lady that was on there, shout out to Alexa? her, Alexa. The um, she was great. She was actually really nice, and yeah, she's didn't good. realize she'd worked at Cherry. Um, so I was I, a, I was very nice to her. No, I've, I know I know she does because I often um, participate in some cherry football breaks. And yeah. she's, she's one of the admins on their YouTube channel. Um, Dale she, Dale Edmonds is an amazing breaker. He's a great guy. I love Dale. So Dale's, um, Dale's I, I, would, I would support any of his breaks that he does any time. So, no, he's um, 
that's where I've known her from. But yeah, but she, she was great person, and having yeah. a chat to her, like, uh, to the side and stuff as well. She was actually really nice. She was really interested in what we do and how we oh, do yeah, things. Yeah, what about that guy on the far left as we were oh, looking at Very it. attractive human. Yeah, but, I mean, it was great to hear, like, and I think I had the feedback from a few people too that just to hear your passion in what we're doing yeah, and what you want to achieve. And you oh, explained it really well too. Thanks like, very much. Yeah, well, yeah. The, the thing Smith. is we know now, don't we? Yeah. Like, we knew, but now we know. Yeah, and what I mean by well, that we've been is doing it for a year. So. We're 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 a year old on Monday, <laughs> uh, Thursday <laughs> next Thursday. Sorry, yep. I was close. Um, but we're Same a year thing. old, which means that uh, we should know what we want to do and where we want to be now. Yep. And I think by having that is uh, is a really good goal. And the fact that the feedback we get, um, I actually had, and I found out later on it was the Butters guys, a uh, guy that come up and actually asked me for a photo. And I'm sitting <laughs> there going, yeah, that's he's awesome. online. Yeah, he's I know online. I saw him before, so I appreciate that, mate. Um, you made me look pretty, so thanks very much. You're a celeb now, mate. Uh, oh, mate. You were the first wrong. photo in his collage, yeah, too. Yeah, I did. Just yeah. Well, that's, that was the thing. <laughs> and did did you look at the photo and go, what is this, a heavyweight title bloody weigh-in? Because it was just this yeah, like, really yeah. strong <laughs> bloody <laughs> handshake. It was great. It no, was funny. It was we were out to dinner with the, the double coverage boys and a couple of others on the Sunday night after, and we were ripping into Doma because... He got cold from the photos. So saucy, <laughs> saucy made, oh, saucy made the, um, the cut and Dommer didn't. So that oh, was, no. uh, that I would get, you and I would have a photo with Dommer. And I didn't think we did. Well, we, we? Yeah, I, yeah, I think everyone did with those boys. They were the, the they, roving source. Did you do the roving? Did you get a roving source? No. Whoever he interviewed you with his microphone? Doing like a BT. No, no, no. Oh, it was good. Oh, it would yeah. have been awesome. I got interviewed as I was like, going to the bin. Like, oh, nice. Something away. You know who I um, was ran into? No, I drank that. You ever, you ever go in breaks and you don't know who the heck people are, don't yeah, do you? Yeah. All right. And I, not that I'd been in this guy's breaks, but Mason Prosser. Oh, I got yeah. to meet Mason. Now, Mason Mason has some trouble with math mm -hmm. because um, <laughs> we were talking and I said, how old are you? And he goes, 16. And his mum's standing next to him going, you're 14. Oh. So he's 14 and doing his breaks and um, repacks and everything like that. That's so good. Um, What's um, his um, page called? Give um, me a shout out. Uh, Mason Prosser's page, Top Tier Breaks. Nice. Top I think, Tier. I think that's good the name. one. Um, I'm just going to double check that because I literally spoke to so many people during the. Um yeah, it was funny when we were at dinner after the the show, we were like got introduced to a couple of people that I hadn't met before, and I was like, oh, I know your name. I've seen your name on a <laughs> yeah. page or whatever. So top okay. top tier cards. Top tier is his, cards is his page, but um, really good bloke, um, nice kid. What does he break footy? AFL, he does predominantly, but he had on his table, he had baseball and NBA and everything that goes with it. So a 14-year-old. Yep, and he does that. NBA repacks as well. So nice. um, I love that Shout so out much. to Mason. So that was great. Got to catch up with the guys from the traders and got some feedback from them on, on uh, PSG. So that was good as well. Did you get any negative feedback at all? Yeah. Yeah, and what was it? Um, how can we fix it? Well, one of them was the labels, which surprised me. I was told that it... People don't like the labels, but the feedback we always People get is... People or person? Yeah. That, yeah. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that because that just came from one Someone. table, two people on that one table. Yeah. What would they say they didn't like? They thought that the um, platinum was the... the your P was too big on the front of our um, slab. They wanted more information on the front of the slab, which I would look... Anyone watching this, I'd welcome feedback on that because... I 100% disagree with that. It's the same size as the B on the Beckett one, just yep. so people know. Yeah. Is but that the new B or the old B? <laughs> <laughs> there isn't a new B. The little B or the big B. <laughs> but if anyone's out there, look. and Please give us feedback. One thing that you will find, anyone who's had a card graded from us um, through the past 12 months will get an email shortly asking them to participate in a survey yep. awesome. around what, um, what they like and what they don't like um, about the slabs because we do every bit of feedback we get is something that we can learn from. So even though I personally don't agree with the labels not being up to scratch, um, it's still interesting to hear that and hear their feedback because, you know, if anything needs to be changed, then we can, you know, use that in our template of what Yeah, happens. definitely. I, I had a great discussion with a couple of people. And I, I, like, I like Jaden's response. That was I, good. They go, I really love it. I really love the, the logo. You must have spent a lot of time on that and all that. And it was like, yeah, well, we did. We actually put a lot of thought pattern into that, mm. which, is, uh, which is good. But, yeah, I'm happy to hear people don't like it. I yeah. don't like some out there. I got some feedback that I'm not. I'm not, I don't really agree with as well. I won't say who gave me the feedback, but he said that Liam is really personable. <laughs> wow. Liam is actually saving my bacon right at this minute. <laughs> He's out in the local card shop um, looking after <laughs> things. So, so um, they have a new local card shop. I was going to bring that up shortly at uh, Arundel. Yep. Um, thank you, Rob, I think was the big shout-out from everyone on the Gold Coast because all the shops had shut down and uh, – 
we needed one here. So big yeah. Rob to the rescue with uh, local Rob. Uh, local card shop uh, headquarters because obviously where the headquarters is based. So uh, opened a pop up shop there. It was um, funny because I got back into when did we get home on the Sunday? best opening video Sun- I've uh, ever seen. Too. Oh, like oh, I was pissing myself when I saw that. No, eight thirty at night. One. <laughs> this one. Which one are you talking about? My <laughs> my video or Liam's video. <laughs> Yeah, we had I saw online where you're going, don't know. Uh, okay, yeah, Liam. Uh, yeah. So Pugs, Pugs produces one of the most solid videos I've oh, ever seen. Oh, that was seen. awesome. I like that <laughs> too. And doesn't get a mention. Liam was good. L- Liam takes vision <laughs> on his iPhone and of Rob going slow-mo through a tape. Yeah, I said put it with Titanic music. <laughs> <laughs> we, tr- we tried to. We tried to, but we didn't know how. Yeah, it, was so. either, it, was either, it was either Rocky or Titanic. Yeah. So, um, guys, just uh, Adam Epsom's joined us. MJ Collection 23, one of the best MJ collections you'll ever oh, see. Yeah. Go and have a look Ooh. at that. That's sensational. Welcome, buddy. Appreciate your time. Come with us. Uh, the Card Messiah has asked, does Chris made it back to the GC yet? Yeah, yeah, literally. I can say he's physically Are you here, here Chris? Here. Yeah, so mentally, mentally not. What one time, what one time? 18 p.m. Wait, is when the answer to that is 100%. Here. 100%, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> the alarm went off at 4.30 this morning. It uh, did. flight was at 6.30. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I'm running on fumes, boys. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, you've been having fumes all weekend. HPS74 has joined us. Ethnics Cards has joined us. And West Aussie Cards say the labels are mint. Love that. Yeah. yeah. I, and tell people that. I think the labels look a lot better in hand. I can understand when people look at them. Some of the photos. Some like, of the yeah, photos. Yeah, also, if you take photos, do it upside down. Or, or it actually works out well. read Ziggy's blog. Ziggy showed you how to do it yeah. using... A couple bits of paper and a phone, a torch from a phone. Otherwise, if you don't want to take photos, that's fine too. Just, Just look at your, your cards. And, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that's, yeah, that's, that's what it's about. And the, I disagree with the, the information on the front as well. I think it, a lot of the ones that have it on the front, it just looks too crazy. A little bit too busy. And that's why, originally why it was done the way we've done it, isn't it? So, again, you know, if people have got feedback on that, you know, shoot us a, drop us a line, horses shoot us a horses. message. The yep. card messiah said there were plenty of fumes on Sunday night. I just want to talk about Sunday night. And then he says, lol, and a picture of whiskey. Um, oh. We had a really good night on Sunday night when you guys left and come back. <laughs> we had a really good time when you left. <laughs> we no, had no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the reason it was Love a good all. time Don't is because me. last time we all went out, there was six of us. Mm. This time there were 16 of us. And the whole thing was, these are people... Could have been 17. Could have been 18. Could have been 18, (laughs) mate. Oh, I just dumped him. I didn't care about (laughs) it. But the thing was, there was like the card messiah was there. There was the uh, guy from Western Australia. Mm -hmm. There was Mm -hmm. the double coverage boys, the MSF boys. So there was all these people that hadn't didn't actually really know. I didn't know anyone when I sat down except for a couple over here. Mm. Just introduced ourselves. And they were, oh, I actually do know you. Uh Like the bloke that... um, from Blunt West. Mm-hmm. He was there and then there's some other guy. Then my girls were there and there was like all these people that have never really got together and awesome. had a good chat. And yeah. I think from that there was actually more – well, you met with one of the boys the next day, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was yeah. one, of those, one of those things um, which, was, which was excellent. So yeah. I think next time what we do is we plan for you boys to come back the next day mm-hmm. and we make that 30 people. Well, yep. even, the, even up in Brisbane. Yeah, like let's do yeah. if you know if people are up the day before. We well, don't have to rush home. Yeah, so. yep. yeah. Hey, the gangsters asked a question about sleeving cards. Um, do you sleeve the card when it's placed in the grade shell, and if we so, do. why? Um, do you want to go, or do you want me to go? Yeah, Pugs? I can go. Go for it. Um, yes, we do, and it's to add extra protection to the card because if you got like PSA, for for example, don't sleeve the card. And I've seen some cards. Some do, some don't. With the edges yeah. are no longer a ten because the card can still move around. We call it the death inside. rattle. Yeah. So, so when you when you pick up a when you pick up a slab and you can shake it and you can hear the card move. Now one of the reasons for that is that the size of the slabs um and the cards, like a a, a twenty point card, which is a Pokemon card, goes into the same slab that a thirty five point card goes yeah, into and, and goes into the same slab that a fifty five point card goes into. And that is something that actually Brett and I are going to be working on to get that rectified for us Beautiful. so that we'll have a few more a little bit more variety and hopefully ha- we won't have to sleeve as many of them because um, we'll get them in the right the right um, thing. But it is to protect the card because if you don't do it, it will rattle and shake and rattle. And, and a rock. massive shout-out to our guys in the Kachunka team that have worked out. And the Kachunka is the, the um, ultrasonic welder that, that keeps this stuff together. Um, they've worked out the way that they can actually put it in the sleeve without bubbling. Yep, because that is the other thing. Because if you put it in the sleeve... super. Yeah, if you put that in the sleeve, doesn't it, Pugs? Yeah, it, it goes just, all wavy. Yeah, it looks like it's um, coming in off the ocean. But... Um, 
Huge work by Stash. And we tried everything with that. And it ended up being that we actually sliced the side of the sleeve down to about two thirds. You've just told them our secret. That's okay. It's herbs and spices. Yeah. There's, there's We're not going to do it for it. very long. Yeah. No, we won't need to. We won't but the thing to. is, they worked out how to do it, and I think that's sensational. So it's great. And we've, we always bring up the point, well, who shakes their cards? Yeah, exactly. Don't, don't shake your cards. Yeah. Great 100%. idea. The Car Messiah, yeah, it was a really lovely evening. Good mates, good times. Aussie Hustle IGs joined us. Adam, Elsa, McKean. Wait, uh, stop. Don't go too far. Let's, oh, wait, let's, no, I won't save the next bit. Yeah, let's let's do that now. Let's make Should that announcement. Yeah. But, but there's one other bloke who's just joined us. Adam Holly, Hey, hey Smokey. Adam Hollyoaks just joined us. Smokey, Smokey in the bed. Yeah, he's actually should be get, hang up and get back to work, Adam. Yeah, mm. get back to work and um, <laughs> yes, I don't. Is know, he don't still hobble, hobble, hobbling around? He is. Yes, he's yeah. always hobbling around. <laughs> That's because he's. But old. I'm too scared he's to say anything to him because he'd belt me. I think yeah. so. Um, yeah, let's make the announcement about Adelaide. Or do you want me to the rest of these yet? You've no, let's go. Just made we're, it we're without here. saying. We're it. here, Adelaide. Adelaide, South Australia. What's in Adelaide? Well, we're not here now. Australia's. Who did we meet? Well, it doesn't matter because it just to warn people in Adelaide that there's a lot of murderers in Adelaide, apparently. What? Yeah. It's, it's the highest per capita place in Australia of murders. What, like really? two? South, no, I like lots. Yeah. That's where Tyson like Beck lives. Yeah, it's like Tyson. Shout out to Tyson. Yeah, you're um, name dropping now. Yeah, well, no. Yeah. I, I'm just catching uh, it. Yeah, He's yeah, 100% I am. Um, <laughs> champ. But, uh, we'll play that champ. Yeah. No, that's where the body, body's in the barrel. Snowtown. Oh, what's yeah, that? Kind yeah, of stuff. That's but right. anyway, um, Adelaide, November. 13. November. November 13 is the Adelaide Card Show. And um, guess who's going to be there? I'm going to guess. No, I'm going to say. You're going to say? And what else? It's our birthday in five days. So you guys convinced me that it was a really good idea to extend our birthday for oh, two months, seven days, yeah. and four hours. Hell Why yeah. not? So what are we going to do there then? We're going to do the same deal that we did at the on, Hobby Hangout. At oh, the Hobby Hangout. Well, so everyone in Adelaide gets a free gate. Everyone gets a free gate. Everyone gets a free gate. Just pay for shipping. Um, Does that, is it cost more to go ship it to Adelaide because it's so far away? No. No, and it costs it, less. you need murder insurance? It costs less. <laughs> Interestingly, the guys we met, Stephen and Andrew, that... Um, that were the names I was looking for? Yeah, they are the, they are the guys that uh, run this run this event. They also do um, card-exclusive cards. So they showed me what they did at the last one, which was a Darren Jarman auto, which I don't know if it means much to anyone. Show-exclusive card? show ex- yeah. Yeah, not card exclusive. Card. Oh yeah, whatever. It's Sorry, no, I, did, me, no, I was like, what's whatever. Going on? <laughs> um, so they're exclusive cards just for that show. Yep, excellent. So they Darren Jarman, who's a South Australian football legend, they did up an awesome North Adelaide card of his. But um, interestingly, um, Andrew, Andrew and Callum, um, his son, they work at the post office. Well, for Australia Post. Oh, there we go. So therefore, it could be cheaper to ship. The that's what I'm saying. You just How ship them. That? Yep, you ship them to the the Bennetts, and they'll look after you. So we can say, Adam, we can actually read your message now. Uh, keen on Brisbane Vegas in October. Good to meet you on Sunday, Brett. Adelaide in November too. What an awesome few months we have coming up. Yeah. And that's so true because obviously we've got Hobby Hangout Brisbane in October. Let's go. Adelaide in November. i got more. i got more to announce. Oh. Are you going to announce that today? I am. Yeah, let's I am no, you're no, no. Oh. I am going to announce it today. You're Absolutely. On, you're on a roll. Yep. Hang on. Someone says, hey, that, guys. That's Hamish. HPS Hamish. Yes, cough. <coughs> Hamish has got a great Hamish Sterling sideline. Sterling, the best horse cards on the planet. Oh, by far. Yep, and they're getting better. They are. So we'll the give him a shout out. So well. Yeah, the print is really good, but um, the graphic design <laughs> is really good as well. Um, Seven o'clock tomorrow night, or as Hamish told me, nineteen hundred hours. There we um, go. There is the next release of his cards, and I can tell you now that they are bloody good. Eduardo. X Nash, X Joe Pride. Yeah. So, so that's a dual trainer jockey auto. It's triple. Dual yeah. auto card. Is it true? Dual no, auto. It's dual. But he's got also it's really hard for the horse to sign. <laughs> no, I, I, no, I don't think it's that horse hard. A horse, of course, uh, of course. It would be course. so good. Put a yeah. smooth on it. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't you love a Mr. Ed card? Oh, it's true. If you've got one, yeah. send it in. Great for free. Don't <laughs> worry about that. Um, <laughs> that's the new challenge. Yep. So, no, his cards are amazing, and there's some technology going into his cards now, which yes, uh, blew really. me away. And I had a bit of a chat to Hamish about it last week and um, looking forward to having some of those in the local card shop. But the announcement. So I spent um, some good time this week. Jesus. Runs an IT coming in this week. (laughs) 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 We don't have a drum roll. Yep. Okay, so I spent an hour or so today talking to Westfield Parramatta. 
Westfield, like the shopping the center. Like the shopping center. And in September on the, here we go again, Date, 17th so and 18th. Okay. And the 24th and 25th being two weekends running, we are going to be um, represented at their sports um, their sports, I don't know what to call it. It's not, I say, keep saying sports carnival, but it's a, a sporting symposium it's like or something expo. like that. A sporting expo. expo. That's yeah, the yeah, one. That's the one like I want. Expo, yeah. We will have in the coming weeks some really exciting news for people that, that um, catch up with us there. Come on. I can't tell it now. Okay. Because I haven't spoken to Brett completely about Brett what yet. I'm going <laughs> to do, but I've got some ideas. And, and look, um, the ideas between us and Westfield, they're pretty cool for the collectors. Awesome. The collectors will be happy. That's sick. So, yeah, keep an eye for that. Shout out to Laura and Jacqueline, who um, I spoke to also today. Also, shout out to George, George. who uh, started Hooks this thing up. in motion. Um, yeah. He approached us in, or approached me. At the Hobby Hangout. First Hobby Hobby Hangout, wasn't it? The Hobby Hangout in Sydney. No, yeah. the last one, a couple of months ago. Uh, top bloke um, looking to open a cigar shop in Sydney as well. But oh, he yeah. said, if you're interested, um, I know I've got a contact in Westfield. They're really interested in this space, and it's just snowballed from there. So, really, awesome. shout out That's George. So good, yeah. uh, appreciate it. Um, Which you know what just shows what these hobby hangouts do. Yeah, they yeah. Just but, sure. but it also shows what you blokes do. Like on a serious note, the, we've built this business over the last year, and now we've got companies like Westfield asking to play with us. Like yeah. within twelve months of actually doing what you have done. Like so, I thank you all for that because that's something that was a dream of ours from the start, and now we're in a position where. You guys have got it to this Actually point, so well happen. done. Yep. Mm. It, uh, it's great. So I've just got a big announcement. Another one? Yep. Jeez, cool. I've <laughs> just teamed up with Hamish, the <laughs> horse bloke, right? And we're going to make a Mr. Ed card. Because <laughs> he's just said, here, I'll make a Mr. Ed. So I'm going to team up with Hamish. He's still on. Hopefully he's still online. We're going to make a Mr. Ed card. And we're yeah. going to stick. We're going to do a limited number of 10. Yeah? To 10. Yep. And we're going to put them into... The same auctions as we're going to do for uh, the Tyson Beck cards. Oh, awesome. And we're going to give all that money that comes in for that to the amazing charity. Beyond Blue. Beyond Blue. Beyond Blue. And that's one thing, guys, and I know we always have a bit of a laugh and stuff on here. Uh, we've all lost people to uh, different types of tragedy, uh, tragedies. Um, if you do need help, please call Lifeline or please call Beyond, Beyond Blue, Blue. Because Beyond Blue does an absolutely amazing um service and they do things and it's okay to talk like we're yep. here having a chat and having a laugh about the hobby um we're also here as a shoulder someone to listen and i know my phone's always on if anyone needs me and i think more blokes are starting to talk about this now and i think it's really important so it's all about awareness it, it is something that uh don't be afraid to speak out so Straight up. he says he's on board too he's on board yeah have See, you got, me and have Hamish you got an Dills. announcement over there have i got an announcement yeah yeah What's your big announcement well, this week? Everyone else is announcing stuff, and I've got nothing. No, my, so. my <laughs> I've got nothing. <laughs> the my, wingman have got yeah, nothing. Yeah. My <laughs> announcement is just how much I enjoyed watching the guy win the platinum ticket. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, I, he was I, so excited. Mate, was, I'd spoke to him at the start. He was one of the first blokes to get a ticket, and he goes, "Look, I've never had anything graded." And his wife was there, and I was joking with her, "You've been dragged along," and she goes, <laughs> "Yeah, I have, but it seems really good." And and then he's going, "I've never had anything graded," so. I must have spent 15 minutes with him, I reckon. And then when his name got called out and he came up, he goes, I'm 46 years old. Sorry if it was younger. I'm 46 years old. I've never won. This is the most amazing thing I've ever won. Yeah. And going from a bloke that was sort of new into the hobby to be like, fuck, I've actually won something. Like This, yeah. is, this is unbelievable. It changed his sort of focus on the hobby. And I think... That yeah. something was pretty cool. Yeah, because I was filming him too, and he's just like, yeah, holding it up. And it's, it's, when I I'd put my blog out, shopping it's spree the greatest. And buy as many, many cards, cards as you can. Yeah. 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 That was awesome. So, Chris, do you have an announcement? I think. No. Do you want to announce to your mum that you're coming home tonight? Yeah. And yeah. She'll yeah. actually yeah. see. Yeah. Mum. I think she knows. Leave, leave yeah. a towel out yeah. and make the bed up. I'll be home. Is yeah. that what it is? Um, no. I'll be at the basketball Friday, Saturday, hopefully Sunday. Oh, really? Yeah. You only so. invited me on Friday. Yeah, well. You're a dog. I'm going Saturday. Would you like to come with me, Rob? I would love to. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll be okay. there too. I'm yeah. not, <laughs> I'll go Sunday because it'll go game three. Yeah. No, I don't want him to win Saturday because I'm not available. Oh, <laughs> no. Um, one last thing too that um, Ruby and Liam asked me to bring up today. Ruby, Ruby. Ruby. She's looking at us now going. The world's greatest. Why does she always look at us like that? The best podcast yeah. producer in the building. Absolutely, without a doubt. 
in this yeah. building, she's number one. Number um, one. But we will have the next edition of the PSG newsletter going out to Ooh. our people next week. <laughs> That's exciting. Um, wow. So look out for that. Who is there a little sneak preview on who the um, partner spotlight is, or are you not allowed to um, I don't, don't know. know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I know it's not local. Here. It's not local card shop, so yeah. we can. We, that's okay. Um, but yeah, they'll have the newsletter out, and there will be um, a few little recaps from the podcast in there as well. So excellent. Look forward to that. And big shout out to Tolga M I N T. It's on Mint. Big shout out to Tolga, who's our newest. Uh, Partner, we we bullied him uh, enough <laughs> on this podcast two weeks ago. Well, we bullied Tolga a couple of weeks ago. We yeah. bullied Hamish today. No, it's not bullying. It's actually sharing and caring. No, no, no. I'll just just so you know, you it, I did not see anywhere where Hamish said I will do a Mister Ed card. Just here. Yeah, he he actually says he says I'm, I will make Mister Ed. Yeah, and then so he humbled. Said, I will yes, make Mister Ed. on board, and then he goes, "Great really? initiative." What's happening here? Look. I've no idea. Oh man, I'll keep up. You're no good with that's why I that's do. That's why I do this bit, yeah, and you do that bit. And you yeah, I can't even do that bit. <laughs> <You do this laughs> bit. That's why you do this bit, right and yeah. I do this bit. Yeah. The run okay. sheet with like two words on it. Can we're good. Yeah, we're good now. Sacks for this we're thing? good. <laughs> 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 yeah, what are you doing here anyway? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing yeah, here? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, Aussie, oh. Aussie Hustle IG yeah. just said, yep, you are you okay? Isn't just a one-day thing. Very true, mate. Very, very true. So, okay. Sorry for bullying you, Hamish. The other, <laughs> the other <laughs> announcement that we do have is that Christopher's back. Uh, hey. As part of the podcast team, we are a four member team. One day only. Uh, Christopher Not will forever. be here every week Yep. Uh, when he's in town. So he is traveling yeah, a lot of the Chris. moment for work. We're sending him back to Utah uh, on the 29th and 30th, I think it is, of September. So he's going back there to have a look at some office space and to uh, talk to, to some bags? other bits and people. Um, yeah, and so, yeah, so looking the, the opening in Utah for PSG is looking good. Uh, cool. We we'll move that to the next step. And uh, so Chris will be back on the road at the end of September. So we'll uh, hopefully see him and he'll be back. He should be back. And if it doesn't happen in Utah, there's there's other options. We're there looking is at Philadelphia, too, so. Birmingham. We've got a couple other places yeah, so. we're looking at at the moment. So it's all very exciting. Um, and obviously the podcast next week is our birthday podcast. So we're all going to wear hats and stuff. Are Ice cream cake. Podcasting from Ice the pub. Cake. Aren't you somewhere next week? I am, but I'm going to be. I'm dialing in. Isn't it, dialing Ziggy, in? it was a Ziggy's birthday this week. It's Ziggy's birthday tomorrow. Did yeah. you have ice cream cake yesterday? No, because... No. You blew it. No, I get didn't. It, get it tomorrow. But just We're going to have yourself. it tomorrow. He's not either. It's actually it's, a public it's holiday. public holiday, holiday but just have tomorrow. it yourself. Oh, yeah. We'll have it Monday. So for those that aren't in Queensland, something they do in Queensland, which I've been here now for nearly 19 years and it really still spins me out, is that the show day from where you live... But don't they do this around Australia? Public, no. So, like, you have a show day for the Gold Coast, which is a different show day for Logan, which is a different show day for Ipswich, different show day for... This is so just local, the, local Easter shows type Yeah, things. local Easter show type stuff, but it's a public holiday that everyone has just in that local area. So, if you work in Brisbane, you don't have a public holiday tomorrow because you're up in Brisbane. That's really, really bizarre. So, I don't know if that so happens all around the world. local car shops open tomorrow? Local car shops open tomorrow because Rob didn't realise it was a public holiday. <laughs> so, it's open in Brisbane? It's opening, of course, Brisbane, because they're not doing a public holiday. What about HQ? HQ's open. Bang. There we go. Public holiday I, special. I'm getting these messages from people saying, oh, are you open on Friday? I go, well, yeah, <laughs> of course we're open Friday. Now well, I'm kind of committed. It's probably going to be the busiest day ever tomorrow. Look, you know what? We don't mind that at all. So, so what's the big giveaway for the public holiday tomorrow? Uh, public holiday. Shop. Okay, we will have, I'll, I'll extend this offer. Football. Extend it. Extend the offer. We've got um, WWE Prism Ooh. debut edition blasters. We'll do it for forty five bucks. Oh, let's go! And if you can, hundred dollars. If you can find them anywhere for forty five dollars, I challenge you, and I'll then go and buy them myself if they're less than forty five <laughs> bucks. And then sell them to you for forty five bucks. Yeah, exactly. So, um, forty five dollars in store only tomorrow. Public holiday special. In store. Most people. Dollar. Most people have to pay to- time and a half or double time and a half on a public holiday. Not a local car shop. We'll give it to you for half. Crazy price. Rob. Don't even charge the fifteen percent pa- um, extra surcharge. Thing. Surcharge. Yeah. No, no surcharge at local car shop. Love that. Yeah, so there you go. Um, yeah, pretty much. Awesome. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, oh, crazy. Christopher, what do you got to leave us with, brother? Nothing. Got nothing. Beautiful. You got nothing? Nah, he's tired. tired. He's grumpy. <laughs> he's got his always, baseball. Always grumpy. Yep. Somebody he's stole his baseball. baseball. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Pugs? Protect your cards. Fair, fair, call. fair call. Fair call. Rob, what do you got? Westfield, here we come. Adelaide, here we come. <sighs> Brisbane, here we come. Wow. Let's go. Utah. Utah, Utah, here, Utah. Here, we, here he comes. Adelaide. Did I say Adelaide? You didn't say Adelaide. I don't think you did. Adelaide. That's because I'm still worried about Rad- the, Radelaide. The, Radelaide. 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 
Yeah. All right, I've so never been. I've got one thing to leave you with, okay? And this is something you probably have to play the drum again. Oh. Oh, no, we don't have a drum. Yeah, yeah, it's the yellow one. No, that's the right one. No, it's the... Oh, so we, last the night, Christopher and myself got invited oh, to a one. to a special evening uh, from Tyson Beck with who? An, oh, in, oh, an intimate e- intimate hamburger and milkshake. It was going to be called <laughs> with um, a number of the winners that Tyson had, and so we rock up at this place, and uh, the whole idea was we we're going to have an intimate evening with Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, there we go. Shit. So. What happened was we rock up to 350,000 people there already, including a number of NRL players. Who was there, Chris? Uh, Who big, was the big unit? Big Nelson, the Sofa Solomona. There was young Ooh. Tonamana Pia, um, uh, Matty Johns' kid. There was Jerome, yeah, He was an outcast because his name was John. Jerome yeah. Hughes. You can spell it. Um, the Kenny Munster. Bromwich. Munster was there. Oh, Jesse wow. Bromwich. Oh, did they sign Munster again today? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, yeah. um, I heard he was... The Tigers offered him six million bucks for four years. Holy snapping pelican! Wow. Um, there's a couple of others. There's a lot of there's a lot of NRL, a lot of AFL couple players of there. Boys there. Um, Mitchell, and then there was a thousand other people. And then what happened was Shaq walks in. We were told we can get a, a photo and spend a little bit of time with Shaq. Yeah, uh, we were in this line. They said if you're on the list, go and get in the line. We pretended we were on the list, so we went and hopped in the line. <laughs> And then Shaq's walking straight towards us. The Shaq, the philosopher. Well, he's not going, what the fuck is going on here? Like, he's coming up to say hello, and he's fist pumping him around the way past. He's doing this. So now he literally, we're on video, going, Shaq, how you doing, brother? And uh, where's Shaq gone? He's literally walked out. And that was it? That was the meet and greet? No, he went to do a wee. Ooh. <laughs> he went for a piss. More jokes. And then he, no, true, true story. And then he come back. <laughs> Didn't fist pump anyone on the way back, which good, is probably a good thing. Yeah, we're happy good. with that. And then we lined up for probably about... 35 minutes and uh, won all the auctions. Yeah, when I went, that's when we were on the auctions. Yeah. yeah, and then we went live and then I stuffed that up and didn't save the live thing. Um, uh, no. Yeah, he got on the live and goes, We're about to go live. I go, You <laughs> are live, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so we were live and we showed everyone around and we got some great commentary and stuff. And then I stuffed up the save. So apologies for that. But then, uh, yeah, we got to meet Chuck and we're next in line and they, um, <laughs> they then, these. Three or four of the biggest humans on the planet. Um, <laughs> As if Shaq wasn't big no, enough. No, but the thing is, like, they're these massive big um, guys, the security guys. Next, next, next. We walk up, then we saw the biggest man on the planet. Shook yes. your hand, it was sort of bigger than your arm. Uh, boys, got the photo. He palms you, and you go that way. And that was it. Oh, wow. Well. So we got to meet Shaq. That's good enough for me. That would be toilet. dead set good enough for me. And yeah, no, it was actually pretty cool. Oh, it was pretty cool. So, uh, thank, and then we sat and ate a couple of burgers. So it was very good. So thanks, Tyson, so much for the invitation. It was great. Uh, big shout out to uh, Feeney, who uh, Feeny come along with us as well. He bought a he was the missing link. couple of Shaq's shoes, size 22. I'll stick one up on the Insta because yeah. I've got a picture of uh, Christopher in his Tropic shirt with Shaq's shoe and a size 22 shoe. So uh, that was pretty cool. Um, and then hopefully at some stage we'll get a copy of the photo and we'll stick that up there as well. Excellent. We have been wrapped up. Uh, we have. The wrap is, up. That, is that what this is? She's there Th- dancing. That's what that is. Actually, I'm not worried about Ruby. Uh, Rach walked through the door. Ooh. Oh. Okay. So um, Rach is I'm in, uh, I'm she's in normally, trouble. She's Rach's normally, in trouble. Yeah, she's normally a lot of fun, Rach, but she can <laughs> um, scare us. She scares us all the time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. So, anyway. <laughs> we're going to sign off. We're going to be back in a week's time for the birthday edition. We are. Can now we wear on, party hats? We can wear party hats. Most party definitely. hats. And we will have a couple of giveaways during the... What about party a party hat? Go. What about a party hat? Barty. Ash Barty. A Barty no, we're hat. not going to have a party hat. We're going to have party Fancy hats. Um, look, why not? Why don't we just tell one of us... Let's say pugs. That's fancy dress. Oh, I'll come. And I'll do else it. Doesn't do it. I'll do it. I'll have the. I'll fancy dress. Yeah, pugs. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Pugs can and Robin here. Dress is our favourite card. No, that's um, a good idea. But we will have a couple of giveaways. You could do that. Yeah, yeah, we could, we could. But we're going to have a couple of giveaways next week. So get online at that time because um, they're going to be a little bit of fun. So what time next week? You got to come up with the 30. best comment for our birthday live, and you get a prize. Yep, and there'll be another something else as well. So awesome. Yeah. Okay, guys, thanks Sign very much for your time. See later. Go platinum. Go platinum.